Hey, how's it going? And today we are taking a quick look at enumeration in Unreal Editor for Fortnite in the verse language. Enumeration is a type used to store name sets of things. And I know I sound like a broken record, but I really couldn't get this thing to work. Like, you can go ahead and try it for yourself. Go ahead and pop that into your code and see what kind of message you get. <laughs> You're going to get an error. I'm happy to report that we got it figured out. And there's a question about would you even really want to go through the extra work to do an enumeration in the first place. So all I have right now is I just have my verse device in the scene. And then, of course, I've got my verse code. And I have two examples to show you on this. So here's my modules. And here is the enum, right? This is an enum type. And it's just a named list, a list of names. I am just giving you my best interpretation of what's happening because some of this is beyond my pay grade a little bit. But this seems to be a named list, but it's really not associated with any. This is a composite type, and it has this list, which has the names, I guess, are data. But they're really not data that you can do anything with. It's just a named list, correct, but it's not associated with anything that you can use. So what we have to do, even though we have this name list, is that we have to convert this to data that we can use, which would be a string. A string would make the most sense to convert it to. So here's essentially by doing to string, the way I understand it is that now we're giving it data that we can work with. So now this name is paired with this. So when we go to string, we're taking the enum and repairing it, converting it to data that we can use. Now, if I call this, I'm gonna get this. So this is like a name with nothing tied to it. I guess that's the best way to say it. So anyway, down here, what we've done is I've created a function with the suspense specifier, and we are just creating a variable, a new variable called heading, and it's of the direction type, because we've created a new type up here. We're telling it, hey, Whatever this is, assign it to that. And what this is now, this name is associated with this string. So give it that data. Then we're gonna wait five seconds and say, you are heading, what it should say is north. Then we'll go to sleep for 11 seconds because this message is gonna be on for 10 seconds. And we're gonna reset it, set the heading to a new direction and then just print another string. But if you look at all this code, you might be thinking, why am I even bothering doing this? This seems like a lot of work, a lot more work to do this. So the question is, why even use enums? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Think of an enum uh, like a drop down list. They make sure that we're only using values that we've predefined so that it's less error prone. So if I was kind of defining lists or names of things on the fly, it's possible I could make an error where this way I predefined all the data and I know when I call direction north, I'm just gonna get that. And it'll tell me if I make a mistake. Whereas like, so if I don't type it in correctly, I know I'm, I did something wrong. And if you try to define the data as you're writing the code, it's more likely you're, maybe you're gonna make a mistake or something along the way. So let's see if this works. I'll just come in here and we'll go to verse, build verse code. I'll end the game, hit start. And we'll see what it does. So I should get a message in just a couple of seconds. Yep, you are heading north. And then in about 10 seconds, another print string should come up. So I'm heading north, you are heading east. That's one example of the enumeration. Now I have another example ready to go that I can show you. So let's take a look at that one and I'm gonna get an error here. One thing I learned and I wasn't aware of, let me just copy this module up here, is that I was using up here this named colors, but you don't need to use that module that says named colors. You can just type in, I think it's color, colors, yeah. 
So by using just this module here, you can do these custom print strings. So what this is, all over again, this is how you set up the enum. Like I said, this is just a name list, but it's not paired to anything. Here we convert it to a string. And then down here, you can see I can reference it down here. And that's why I'm saying it's less error prone. So what should happen now is it should print out south, east, and west. But like I said, if I was just writing this on my own, like let's say I was just going to write in south, I don't know, maybe I could say you are heading south because I'm just writing the string on the fly. Maybe I misspell it or something. You know, maybe I could call it south, you know, because I'm not going off a predefined list. I'm just writing it as I go, which you could do, but this way it's predefined. So that's the only advantage I can see of using the enum for the moment. And so I'm going to go in here to general editor verse build verse code stop the game and then we'll go ahead and push the changes and let's see if we get that print string i deliberately misspelled south too just to make the point of predefined so you are heading south or east or west so anyway i hope you found this helpful just a quick look at enumeration in the verse language